Drivers on the streets in Saanich today got a dent in their bank accounts with a ticket from a traffic cop. This is all part of a campaign to reduce the hundreds of crashes that occur at the most dangerous place on the roads every day, intersections, because drivers are running yellow lights and driving aggressively. As A News reporter Stephen Andrews shows us tonight, this stepped-up traffic enforcement will continue through the entire month. There are more than 250 crashes at intersections in BC every day. To reduce that number, police up and down Vancouver Island will spend this month pulling over drivers, issuing tickets and warnings. We are looking for people that are uh, traveling too fast as they travel through the intersection. Um, we're looking for people that are tailgating, people that are failing to yield the right of way to other vehicles. ICBC chose November for its annual campaign due to drastic changes in weather, making roads wet and slippery. Also, the end of daylight saving time means more drivers travel BC roads at night, conditions that police say can double or triple crashes. So be extra cautious, make sure that you're not running those yellow lights, make sure that you're slowing down and being aware of everyone around you, including pedestrians. Saanich sees its fair share of crashes every year, a number of them fatal, especially on the Trans-Canada and Pat Bay highways. Traffic is one of the department's key priorities. People living in the island's largest municipality rank traffic safety high on a list of where they want to see their tax dollars spent. So it's no surprise Saanich has most of its 15-member traffic division actively patrolling intersections this month. Some people are watching the intersection for violators. And then on the other side of the intersection, we're going to have members stationed who can actually pull those vehicles over. And the department warns its traffic team will be constantly on the move. So aggressive drivers looking to beat that red light may never know if someone is waiting around the corner to meet them. In Victoria, Stephen Andrew, A News.